What's up everyone? That's Stem Guy here, coming at you once again from the medieval battlefield where we stormed the castle yet again. Only this time, we left our catapults back at camp and brought a new siege weapon, the Viper Slingshot. Now I call this the Viper because it strikes super quick. This trigger activated slingshot is super accurate and it only uses eight total supplies to build. It is such an easy build that elementary school students will surely have a lot of fun learning about slingshots. So remember, always use proper eye protection and be safe when firing your Viper. Let's dive into the build. Our first step is to take our clothespin and we're gonna attach it to one of our craft sticks. We're gonna use a rubber band to do so. Open up your clothespin and loop the rubber band through the open side first and then loop it around the tail of the clothespin. Do that a couple times on both the opening end and the tail so that it holds on to the stick perfectly. Next, we're gonna take some masking tape and we're just gonna take our craft stick and place it underneath the one we just put together. We don't wanna put it on top um, because then it's gonna interfere with our projectile. And just go ahead and loop some tape around it uh, make sure it's nice and tight so that it does not bend when the elastic is stretched at the end. Just go ahead and attach your third popsicle stick again underneath your second one and secure it with some tape. It's now time to attach our elastic. So we're going to take our remaining rubber band and just work it through a paper clip and just loop it around to the bottom of the paper clip so it's extra sturdy. And then we're going to put that on the bottom end of our third craft stick. And again, secure it with some masking tape nice and tight so that it doesn't fall off. You're now ready to fire. Open your clothespin and pull your rubber band back and then clip your clothespin back down to secure the rubber band. When you're ready to fire, load your projectile in and push it right down against the clothespin and make sure the rubber bands are on both sides of it, holding it in place before you fire. Because we have tape on the end holding our rubber band and paper clip in place, it should not fly off and only your projectile should launch. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this build, please make sure to mash that like button and smash that subscribe button to follow along for more build videos like these, STEM product reviews, lesson plans, lesson overviews, what I wish I knew, program building tips. I got all sorts of great content on my channel and a lot more coming out in the future. So remember, no matter where you are learning from today or where you are teaching from today, I hope that you are having a great day and I will see you next time.